Hello Chefs, I'm Chef Arun, an associate professor with All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society's College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today, we're going to speak or learn about Pate. Our objectives of this session is to define what a Pate is, the molds used, the types of a Pate, parts of a Pate, and the accompaniments that you would serve with a Pate. The definition says, what is a pate? Is a French term for paste. It is traditionally served baked in a crust or molded as a cherry and duck liver or goose liver as the main ingredient. Pate is a paste, pie or loaf consisting of a force meat such as liver, poultry, meat, fish, etc. It can be served hot or cold. The most famous pate that we know is the pate de foie gras, made from the livers of fat and geese. Let's look into the molds that are used in making of terry. Many different shapes and sizes are available. In that, what we can see is an oval mold, an aluminum one, with a serrated design on the sides. Also, we have a terry mold where the product baked and the mold both can be referred to as a terrain. There are four types of pate. The first one is pate en croûte, second, the pate en terrain, third, pate en roulade, and the fourth one is a mousseline pate. Let's get into the details of understanding what pate en croûte is. A force meat baked in a crust or pastry dough. Liver as the main ingredient such as duck liver, goose liver, which we know as foie gras, or even chicken liver. Additional ingredients such as chicken, beef, ox tongue, nuts, vegetables, cured meat, cognac, cream, gelatin powder, that we know as aspic jelly, can be used. It can be served hot or cold without gelatin. It is not necessary that an aspic jelly or a gelatin layer has to be present on a pate en croûte. Further on, the cooking method used for a pate en croûte can be baking with a water bath method. Pate en croûte is baked with the insertion of chimneys on top, small tubes or funnels that allow steam to escape, thus keeping the pastry crust from turning damp or soggy. Baked pate en croûte usually develops an air bubble under the crust of as the meat mixture shrinks during baking. That is traditionally dealt with by infusing semi-liquid aspic in the hollow space before filling. Here are a few examples of pate en croûte with various designs and shapes and sizes. The second type is pate au terrain, a force meat baked in a form or vessel without a pastry crust. The mixture wrapped in sweat or not and layered in a ceramic or steel loaf terrain mold, cooked in oven with a water bath method without pastry crust and cold. Without pastry crust is very important. Sometimes an infused gelatin which we know as aspic jelly, is set on top for a decorative effect that also adds an additional layer of flavor. So, cold. The main ingredient can be meat, liver, poultry, and seafood. Vegetable terrines as special dishes or vegetarian dishes are also available. Here is an example of a terrine neatly decorated. The third one is pate au roulade. Force meats wrapped or rolled in wrapping material, non-edible and edible material, but not chicken or poultry skin. Wrapping material could be plastic wrapped, aluminum foil can be used, natural wax paper or even cured meats can be used. The main ingredient is meat, liver, poultry, and fish. 
Vegetable roulade can be made as special dishes or vegetarian varieties available for customers. The cooking method applied can be baking or a steaming method. Can be served hot or cold. An example of a roulade is a spinach and a salmon roulade that you can see in the example. The fourth one is a mousseline pate. The smoothest and most refined form of pate made from emulsion of pureed raw meat, eggs, and cream. The mixture looks like a mousse, which is light, airy, and delicate. The main ingredient is meat, poultry, seafood, or liver. The cooking method that can be applied is baking or steaming. It can be wrapped in a wrapping material or layering in ceramic terrine molds or even ceramic mini cocoat molds, depending on the service or the course that you want to serve it in. It can be served hot or cold. Here is an example of a fine, smooth, and a light muslim pate. Four parts of a pate that include the first one being force meat, the second as internal garnishes, third as liners and wrappers, and the fourth one as sealers. Let's get into the detail of what you understand by force meat. The force meat is an emulsified mixture of ground meat and fat makes up the body of the pate, and the force meat consists of primary meat, which must be must total more than half the pate's force meat's weight. The secondary meats which are added to the pate is added to add a rich mouth feel and to lighten the color of the finished product. Fats for pate force meat that can be used as chicken fat, turkey fat, or even duck fat. Seasonings that are used in the force meat could be as basic as salt to enhance the flavor. Also, spices, herbs, aromatic vegetables, meat glazes, alcoholic beverages, or even cream can be added to enhance the flavor of the force meat. Here is an example of a chicken mincer or a meat mincer, which can be used to fine down the meat before it is used. Internal garnishes, why the name? It is pieces of food placed within the force meat to add texture, flavor, and visual interest, which includes cured and smoked meats, nuts, beans, dried fruits, and vegetables, mushrooms or truffles, marinated raw meats and poultry, chicken tender and boiled beef ox tongue, seasoned livers, Let's look at a pictorial reference to this. Cured meats, fruits and vegetables, beans and pulses, nuts and oil seeds, mushrooms, truffles, liver, ox tongue, and seasoned meats. Liners and wrappers. A party force meat usually contained in some form of wrapper or a liner. Only muslim pates are the ones which are not wrapped or lined. Pastry dough or pate dough wrappers for pate or fruit. These doughs, which are made, must be sturdy enough to hold up the heavy force meats and the steam, juices, and rendered fat that they produce while baking. Pate dough, which consists of flour, unsalted butter, salt, water, and egg, which is a basic pastry dough, which we use for making a short crust pastry. Leaf vegetables, nori seaweed sheet, cured meat, smoked beef, smoked turkey breast also can be used as a liner. Pastry dough, nori seaweed sheets, leaf vegetables, or even cured meats. Sealers. After a pate product was baked and cooled, it was sealed with a semi-solid fat to preserve it. 
Modern pathes and terrains are now often sealed with liquid aspic for presentation purposes. For pathe growth, use flavorful, clear liquid aspic to fill the gap and adhere the crust to the phosphate. Lard is the traditional material used to seal terrains for extended storage. Let's look at an example. This is a baked pathe root with the chimney insertions that you can see and can be filled with an aspic jelly or traditionally with lard fat to preserve it. Here, in the second example that you see, after baking, what happens is the meat has shrunken down because of the loss of moisture. So there is a gap that is created between the crust and the meat. That gap is generally sealed or held by the liquid aspect that is added or the fat that would be added inside it. So that while cutting it, it comes out as one piece or to put it in simple terms, the pastry crust and the meat do not separate. What are the accompaniments that you can serve with a pate? You can serve it with bread, crackers, flavored mustards, cumberland sauce, mayonnaise, relish, fruit or vegetable salsas, balsamic vinegar glazes, pickled vegetables, wine reduction that could be made of red wine or port wine, or even vegetable dressed in vinaigrette. The presentation style. It can be presented on a platter for buffet services, such as for others, canapé, or buffet platters. It can also be individually portioned for plate service or a silver service, for an appetizer, or even as an amuse bush. Let's look at a pictorial representation of that, where you can see individual preparations being served, or also on the buffet, how it is being presented. Also an example of an other and an amuse bush that can be served. Thank you for your patient listening. Also, please attempt the quiz mentioned in the description. For any query and doubts, mail me on arunsherkar14 at gmail.com. Thank you again.